Joining us live in studio now is Target 12 investigator Steph Machado, who has been covering cannabis policy now for years. Steph, this is opening day today. It's just the beginning of the whole process, right? Yeah, this is really a transitional period, perhaps you can call it a bridge, until the new Cannabis Control Commission takes over the entire industry. They will be responsible for controlling uh, the retailers, growers, manufacturers, and so on. Governor Dan McKee's office says he will make his three picks to that commission in the new year, and they'll have to be confirmed by the state Senate. So a big argument for legalization here was that people were already driving to Massachusetts to get recreational marijuana. They were making out on the tax money, so why don't we make out on the tax money here? Um, are, is that expected to be the case? To, how much money can we make from this now? Yeah, so it's not that much extra cash, at least to start. And I'll explain the math. So in the current fiscal year, which is almost halfway over, it ends June 30th, cannabis sales are projected to bring in $7 million in taxes to the state. But it's going to cost a lot of money to implement the program, including hiring about two dozen new state employees in various agencies. So the net increase you can see there is just $368,000 this year, according to the State Office of Management and Budget. The sales will also bring in about $1.2 million dollars from the 3% local tax that will go to the city or town where the product is sold. But let's look a couple years down the road when all 33 stores are up and running in which is estimated to be July 2024. The state's budget uh, experts say sales would bring in about $19 million in that first full year with net revenue being about $7 million after all the costs to run the program plus 3.3 million in the local tax for the towns and cities. So that's $7 million. It's not nothing but for context it's a very small fraction of the state's multi-billion dollar budget. State Rep Scott Slater, one of the lead sponsors of the Rhode Island Cannabis Act, said today it's more than just the money. Making sure that they have, um, folks have access and safe access and you know I know here people talk about the tax revenue. Well I'm not sure how much that will be at this point because a lot of places, Connecticut's about to go online, Massachusetts been online. But just see, look at this building behind us, the uh, development and the work that went in here. Just the construction alone and the jobs that came from that uh, is great for Rhode Island. And Rhode Island's 20% tax on recreational marijuana is in line with Massachusetts and Connecticut. Connecticut is expected to have their stores open in the new year. All right, Steph, thanks for breaking it down for us. Of course.